Hello and welcome to this video on Power BI. In this video, let us take a look at the newest entry into the new features in Power BI, that is the small multiples option in the new card visual. So in the new card visual is visible in my visuals gallery. So if this is not visible to you, you might have to enable it in your preview features. And in case if it is not there in your preview features, then you might have to update your Power BI desktop to the latest version to have it visible. So to see it in preview features, I'm going to options and settings, options, and it is going to open me this window wherein I go to preview features and scroll down. I should be able to see this new card issue. You would need to click that. And once it is enabled, you will be seeing that particular new issue here. And you can either directly use it, but in my case, I'm just going to duplicate this table and I'll change it into this new card issue. This new card visual, as you see here, is taking the measure into the data and the month has become the small multiple. And that's exactly what you're seeing here. The month is looking like a header and the values are looking like a row. So this new feature that's added or has also brought in a couple of new customizations into this visual. They are small multiple layout and small multiple header. The rest all options were available earlier in the new card visual. So these two are the new entrants in as part of customization. Now I'm expanding this. The options I see here are layout, border, grid lines, overflow and back. So basically I have an option to change the layout uh, that the small multiple is going to be uh, displayed. And I, I can change the border, I can change the grid lines, I can define how the data has to overflow in this visual. And I can also set a certain background. So expanding this layout, I have three options. One is single column, single row and grid. So whatever currently we are seeing is the single column. Uh, I can say how many columns at max or how, how many values at max this single column should put. Let's say that I want to see five rows at once. So I'm just going to change this into five and my visual is going to show five rows. So if you ask me if this is the max, no, that's not the case. So as you see in this table, we have data from 2020 September to 2021 June, and it's definitely more than five years. So this can be seen by going to the bottom of this visual where your cursor changes into a hand symbol. Click this now and you will see the rest of the values. The same applies for the top. But as you see here, it's kind of tricky to educate your user to go and select this thing. So to counter that, we have an option called overflow wherein you have options to select two types of overflow state. One is page generated, which is the current one that we are seeing. We also have an option to enable the scroll. So this is going to enable the scroll here. And you can scroll as much as you want. So this customization applies not just to the vertical scroll. This also works as a horizontal scroll when we go for a grid. The next option is background. I enable this background option. I go in, you can change the color of the background. You can set the transparency. If you want to have some image behave, image for your visual, then you can do that. Now you can also set image transparency as well. Then you also have an option to customize your corners under the shape, shape section. So by default, you can change all the corners into a certain rounded corners. Or if you do not want to do that, just enable the customized corners. It's going to show each corner separately. You can define which corner should be rounded and which shouldn't be. In my case, I'm just going to round my top left and bottom right corners. So as you see here, my top left, top left corner is rounded, bottom right corner is rounded, rest others are square. Let me go back to the customizations. I'll go and change my background color for the issue. expanding the background. I'll change the background color to something light. What happened? So you see, right? I'm setting the background color, but it is not visible here. Let me try changing the transparency. Check if that is working. No, that's also not working. So at the point of, at this point of recording this video, I don't see the background option working in the new card issue. So that is something that the MS team will be working on they should be able to fix it in the future. 
So the next is the small headers option. In the small headers option, I have an option to either set the customizations to all the values here in the header section or to certain values. Let's see what happens when we set something for all the values. Now I have selected the series as all. The orientation is either horizontal or vertical. If I change it into vertical, my header is going to change uh, beautifully to a vertical format. And I can say if it should be left aligned or top aligned. Then I can also go and change the font type that is used for this. Then I can change the font color. Let me change it to white. And I can also define the vertical alignment and horizontal alignment. Let me go to background. I will change the background to something interesting. Yeah. So as you see here, the background works perfectly fine for headers while it is not working for the values. Let me also set a certain level of transparency, transparency to this. Yeah. So now this looks cool. I will come to padding. So this padding option is very similar to all other places where you can change the padding for each of the side. As we have already seen the single column visual, I will also show you the single row visual layout. I am going to take a copy of this visual and I will change this layout to a single row layout. The single row layout is going to show the values in a single row. I can change the width and height of this particular visual. Maybe I will also decrease the size of the single column visual. Yeah, now it looks good. So the rest of all customizations are going to hold as what we saw for a single column visual. All those apply to the single row visual as well. There is also a grid option that is available. Let me also show you that grid option. I'm just going to take another copy of the same visual and then I'm going to change that into a grid layout. That should solve whatever is required for us. I'm going to go to the small multiples layout, change it into a grid. That's all what we want. We just need the and three. Just to make it look good, I'm going to change the alignment for my headers to horizontal. So now that we have seen that we can set the customizations for all the series, I just want to uh, just say like I want 2020 November to show in a different color. I can just select 2020 November in my series, go here, change the background to a different color of my choice. So in this case, using this, I can just highlight a certain time period or a certain value that I want my users to be focused on. And the rest all are very similar to for the similar to the other visuals. You can customize your font size, font style, font color, uh, and 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 anything of that sort that is common for all the other visuals. As a final touch, I'm going to change the header orientation of my single row visual for all series to consult. That's all in this video on Power BI. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and comment for more such videos.